Hey, it's Coach Z. Um, real quick, if you do not have a flag at home and you want to learn guard, um, or you're a guardie who's at home and you're just kind of stuck there and you don't have your flag, keep up your work because your instructors work so hard to get you where you are, so don't let it go to waste. Um, take your broom, so make sure it's sort of clean, right? So go outside and sweep off your porch and then, okay, get all the dirt out. If you put the broom side up, it will help you, okay? Do not go, the, it's kind of like your flag, right? It's a little weighted on the top. So take your pole, and you can just use a marker and, or a piece of electric tape and divide it into thirds if you would like. Um, I'm just gonna like eyeball it, but that will help you. So if I say third, you need to grab it around the third. If I say tab, that's the other one. And then there's the top third. So it's like bottom third, your tab, top third top third okay so you still have some pull left over um, I use those a lot saying I talk in thirds hold it at the third hold it at this whatever so that's what I do all right so for flutters um, actually I'm gonna go through drop spins flutters and extensions with a broom okay so spinning these you can do drop spins first so you're up like this holding it at the bottom if you know where your tab is, here's my, about where my top third is, is where I'm stretched up to. I'm gonna come down to my, my tab. Okay, so, I'm going to drop spin. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See how my thumbs, try to keep both thumbs up, and both thumbs down, like that. That'll keep you from rolling your flag up if you're someone who does that. All right, so we're gonna do, um, let's do three sets of eight on each side. So here we go. So right hand is up, you're nice and tall. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last set. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, good. Now we're switching sides. All right, so you guys know y'all want to practice with me. It's great. Okay, so here, so five, six, seven, eight, and one, two. Oh, I should have, let's back up. So if you're new to this, left hand's on top now. So we call the left shoulder, left shoulder. Watch my other videos. Hand is at the bottom. Do not do this. You do not rest your pole on your stomach. Oh my God. Oh my goodness, please don't do that. Okay, so do not rest your pole here. You grab it, you have a little bit of space, a little bit of dancing space, okay? Now, here we go. You're gonna drop this way and grab it. Both thumbs are gonna be down. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last set. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And I apologize because you're probably an instructor watching me going, why are your arms so high? So I was doing it for the video just so they could see my hands. But guys, your arms, your arms all need to be in here. So if you notice, I dropped it near the end because I realized what I was doing. So when you're doing drop spins, all your stuff needs to happen in here, about your waist, your waistline, your belly button, where it should be. Not where you wear your pants, not where you wear your, you know, your mom pants, or you know, we call them your mom pants, right? Because back in the day, us moms had those high pants. Anyway, not up here, not way low, your belly button. Everyone's belly buttons are about in the same spot in proportion to your body. Okay, so if you have people who are super short in your guard, you have people who are super tall in your guard, it doesn't matter. If you all have the same spot in your belly button that you are doing, you will look like you're together. Okay, it doesn't matter how tall or short you are. This is your body. So right in here, so out, you're coming out, and you drop into your hands. This is where you need to be. Not up here doing them. A lot of people start like this because they're trying to watch their hands but down in here. Look how fast I can go with the broom. Woohoo! Woohoo! Okay, all right. The broom doesn't have any drag. There's no flag on it. Okay, um, extensions. So with an extension, so right slam, so you're here, 
You're here, you're going to go up to that bottom third. If you taped off your, if you taped off your broom, you're at your bottom third. You're going to come up here to your tab and you're going to bring it down. Now, because your broom is not as long as your pole, kind of stretch it out. Because you do want to be like this. You don't want to be in. Okay, so nice and tight. Look, I have a nice arm. Super tight, I'm holding it in. Okay, so this is a right sign because I'm down on my right. Now I can go up without doing my ceiling. Ah, Woohoo! Okay, so let's practice with this. We're doing extensions. So watch my extension video so you know how they work. And then if you need to practice with the broom, then do it with the broom. It will help you get the motion down. So you're going up, turn like you're looking at your watch, and then bring it in, let it scoop down, watch, and then grab it, but control it. So you're gonna go up and in. Six, seven, eight, we're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, eight. oh I forgot to hold. If, you're, if you have a room, you don't have to hold if you don't want to, but we'll do it just so that you can fix it with your flag later. So five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, hold, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, hold, six, seven, eight. Switch sides. Choop. Yay, I caught the broom. Okay, so switch sides, same thing. So you're at your right shoulder, pretend you were there and you're bringing it into, whoops, left shoulder, left slam, left slam. So, uh-oh, got my flag on the wrong side. So flag is up, slam, left hand is up, slam on the left, left shoulder, because you're going to your left side. Okay, now, same thing, however your hands were like this, bring it down, look at my hands. Right hand is what we call motorcycle grip, left hand is under, on top, under, okay? So now extension, you're going to come out and bring it in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we're holding in between. You would just have that four counts in the middle. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, hold, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, hold, six, seven, eight, last one, two, three, four. Now, you can practice the augmented with these. It's actually so much easier with the room. Um, so you can practice going hold. So you bring it up and you literally like hold it and super tight with your arm. It should look like this, arm. And then point so that your foot pole, I usually say with the girls, um, with my guardies, I'll be like, okay, bring it up and hold it as tight as you can. You don't want to tuck it, but you want to hold it here and build this muscle and then switch for the third number. Everyone's pointing down at the same spot and then you bring it in together. If you drill that, captains and coaches, if you drill that, you will be amazed at the results that you will get from your kids and keeping those together and keeping them together. Um, okay, so. Thank you very much. Um, so that was drop spins and extensions with a broom.